Let's go over the types of shock. The types of shock are cardiogenic, hypovolemic, septic, neurogenic, and anaphylactic. First, let's talk about cardiogenic. Cardiogenic, think, can't pump. This occurs when the heart can't pump blood effectively. Even if there's enough volume, the heart isn't meeting the body's needs. Think of it as a soap dispenser. There's enough soap or blood in here, but the pump or the heart is broken, so you can't get any out. This is like cardiogenic shock. Cardiogenic shock, think can't pump. Next, let's talk about hypovolemic shock. Using our medical terminology, let's break apart this word. Hypo means low, Vol means volume and emic means in the blood. So hypovolemic shock is low blood volume. This usually happens when the body is losing fluids or blood rapidly. Next is septic shock. Septic think super sick. Septic shock is caused by widespread infection or sepsis. All right, next we have neurogenic shock. Neurogenic think issue with the nervous system. This is usually caused by a spinal cord injury. In neurogenic shock, the patient mainly experiences parasympathetic stimulation, which causes vasodilation for an extended period of time. And lastly, we have anaphylactic shock. So the memory trick here is anaphylactic, think allergic attack, and airway closes rapidly. This occurs due to a severe allergic reaction leading to airway swelling. You can find nursing school information condensed like this in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying, future nurses.